Similarly to Kellen, um, I believe that the strategic vision and the long run um, outlook of SSDP is the most important uh, thing for board members besides fundraising. Um, we, as making you know a five or ten year strategic plan, have the ability to now say where is drug policy going to be? What part of the country is it going to be? What part of the world is it going to be in 10 years? So that means working with our national uh, partners, whether it's MVP or DPA or others, to basically see what areas do we want to target or what bills are coming up in the future, and then we lay the groundwork building SSV chapters there. Sorry. Well, I, think, I think a lot of really good points were made. Mission, the mission statement, making sure that we are really, uh, we're reflecting that in our actions, making sure we're shaping it properly. Uh, I think Catherine hit the, head, the nail on the head about uh, messaging and the way that we, uh, we, the way that we present ourselves, but also, like I've been talking about, creating that network of support for chapter leaders so that they're able to, uh, you know, kind of see the messaging we're using and implement it. They're able to educate the students. They're able to take action. And if we reflect our mission statement properly, they'll be able to do that with communication. So I think one of the most important functions of the board is making sure that SSDP can and does um, both expand and become more more visible and more vocal. Um, and part of that's you know getting the the funds and, and the capability to, to do this. And then part of it's you know making sure that that um, we, we make progress on those goals and um, you know are able to to come back next year with uh, you know, twice the size or, or however we have to grow. Well, I think being a board member requires a certain work ethic and drive, um, and of course, uh, having initiative and responsibility as well. But it's also important that we work together and that we learn together as well, because uh, it is important to teach back at the end of the day when we're, when we're finished after a year, it's teaching back to people who want to be on it, the next board member. Um, and I think I'd be good at that because I'm a surf instructor and beach lifeguard, and uh, I am a club be head coach in all of Cork as well. So. <laughs> Uh, well, we are here all to change drug policy, I think. So we will focus on that, and uh, the only way to achieve this, this is by coordinate. I think in the national level for you it's very important to, to press together in some places, like states or I don't know, many places. And in Mexico it's important too, on, on the other countries like Ireland, uh, uh, to try to work together, or at least to share information. So. So I completely agree with what Jason and RT said. I think it's very important for us to have a very strategic and very specific plan of action. We've all said that it's incredibly important to, um, to increase our chapter base. And we've said that it's a goal, but I haven't seen any specific plan of action that would really do it. And in my opinion, there's only really two ways to do it, which is the way that Sierra Student Coalition and College Number Crowds do it, which provides stipends to students who are starting chapters, because usually they don't have any fiscal funding from the school. And the other way to do it is the way that fraternities and sororities do it, by having a regional coordinator that can spend two to three weeks at a school. So rather than repeating everything else, because everyone said great things, um, I think one thing wasn't touched on that I feel like is very important for the board, and that is that we are here for you guys. And that you guys can come to us and say, you know, we need help, we want some advice, We've, we're, we're trying to prove ourselves as leaders for you, and we want to make sure that you guys can come to us for any questions that you have, any issues, you know, we want to be a resource for you guys.